We now know the names of the three Army Reserve soldiers killed in the drone attack in Jordan. That's 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers, 24-year-old Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and 23-year-old Specialist Brianna Moffitt. They were all from the state of Georgia. And there's new insight into who was at the military base during the attack and how it was even possible. ABC's Akajachi is in Washington with more. President Biden meeting with his national security team in the Situation Room today after a drone attack on a U.S. military base in Jordan. Three American troops were killed, dozens others injured. The president and I will not tolerate attack on U.S. forces, and we will take all necessary actions to defend the U.S. and our troops. The administration blaming Iranian-backed terrorists and vowing it will be met with retaliation. The options could be a, a surgical strike, meaning sending in a team instead of launching missiles from afar, sending in a team on the ground to go out and take out the personnel and not just the material that's being used in the incident attacks. A senior official tells ABC News the working theory is that the attack drone may have been mistaken for an American drone that was also in the air and coming in for a landing at the same time. I've seen those reports. Again, that's something that Central Command is assessing right now, but I don't have more to share at this time. The attack at a desolate desert installation known as Tower 22. The Pentagon says there are more than 350 service members stationed there, all working to prevent the resurgence of ISIS, as well as acting as a buffer for Iranian weapons smuggling to Hezbollah. U.S. officials say they are closing in on identifying the attackers. This attack over the weekend was escalatory. Make no mistake about it. And it requires a response. Make no mistake about that. U.S. officials say there have been over 160 Iranian-backed attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria since mid-October. Now, these American deaths could mark a turning point with U.S. retaliation certainty. Ika Jachi, ABC News, Washington.